Glory to God. The Lord is good. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today going to be very quick. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Psalm 63 today. Psalm 63. Yeah, we're going to get a word out of this. Glory to God. There's going to be a word out of this. We're going to bless the Lord. There's going to be a word. I haven't read out of the book in a long time because I'm always reading out of the tablet. So thank God I'm reading out of the book again. I almost forgot how to turn the pages sometimes, you know. You know, thank God. Thank God. Sometimes you got to go back to the old school. You got to go back to the book and go through the book. There's power on these pages. Glory to God. There's power on the tablet too. But thank God for the book. It's a, it's original. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 63 today. And the Lord is going to bless our hearts, touch our hearts, and thank God for all the beautiful women. Glory to God, the beautiful souls. God said, you are wonderfully made, beautiful and wonderfully made. You are beautiful just the way you are. You're wonderful just the way that you are because God has made you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the mothers. Thank God for my mother. Thank God for my wife. They are mothers and good mothers. Thank God for the good mothers. And also thank God for the bad ones too because they're human and haven't probably been taught or been through hell through their life. But we're here not to judge them. We're here to encourage them so that God can make them a good woman, a good woman and a good mother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Lord forgives you. Glory to God. But Psalm 63, we're going to go through the whole verse. That's 11. Oh Lord, I know with 11 verses, I could do three hours on 11 verses. So Lord, give me the strength to break it down. Give me the strength to break it down quick according to thy will, Father, in the name of Jesus. Also, Lord, I pray and hope that you forgive me for all the things that I have done this week, forgive my mind, heart, mouth, anything that wasn't not like God, so that this word could come forth with clarity and pure vision of you, Lord. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Book of Psalms, Psalm 63. The book of Psalms. It says, Oh God, thou art my God. You got to know that. You got to know that the Lord is your God. You got to know that God is your God. If there's a God, right, we know it is, right? Make sure that you know that he's your God. You need to know that. That thou art my God. You know that. Ain't, ain't nothing else come before him, right? Why? Because what? Early will I seek thee. This is when you seek the Lord early. The first thing you do when you wake up, you should seek the Lord. That's the first thing you should do. Seek the Lord early. It also says, seek ye first. See, seek ye first the kingdom of God. But you need to seek him early. The Bible says, will I seek thee? Seek him. Early will I seek thee. Seek God. We, we seek everything else in the morning. Shoot, this word is for, this word always for me first. You give it to me to give it to y'all. And I get convicted or, you know, or I get healed or delivered and set free, right? When the Lord gives it to me. But early will I seek thee, especially if I don't seek him early and I miss him. Something that occupied my mind more than God that morning. It's bad. I said, Lord, forgive me. Early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. You got to get up early. Seek the Lord. Sometimes God will get you up 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning. Do that. Get up. This is what's going to help you. This is what this message is about. Helping. How the Lord is our help. You got burdens. Give it to the Lord. You got sicknesses. Give it to the Lord. You got diseases. Give it to the Lord. Whatever it is, give it to God. He's our help, especially in a time of trouble. In a time of trouble, God is our help. In a time of goodness, God is our help. Even when goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our life, God is still our help. It says, thou art my God. We know that God is our God. And early will I seek thee. I seek him early. If I miss you yesterday, Lord, today I will seek you. And it says, my soul thirsts, thirsts for thee. Ain't that something? This, this, this word right here, thirst. He, I want you to get this. He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. This is how you get filled. Being thirsty. Yeah, see? Glory to God. Ho hope you heard me. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Yes. Thirsty. He that's hungry. You got to be thirsty. 
You can't make nobody come on this line. They got to want it. You can't make nobody be saved. They got to want it. You can't make nobody live holy. They got to want it. If they don't want it, it's not going to happen. So you don't, you don't force people to do it. If they want God bad enough, they're going to be thirsty. That's what thirsty mean, right? That they want God. They're thirsty. They're dry. There's something that's better than natural water that could help my soul because it's dry. It could help my finances because it's dry. It could help my health because I'm dry. It can help my future because I'm dry. Every area of your life, the word of God can help. Especially if you're thirsty. It says my flesh longer for thee in a dry and thirsty land. Ain't that something? Glory to God. Your flesh, you gotta you see, your flesh gotta even go into sub subjection. And want the Lord. Huh? The spirit is so strong you have your flesh wanting God. Hallelujah. Right? My flesh longer for thee. Sometimes your flesh need God. Or your flesh, if they see, if you don't bring your flesh to God, your flesh gonna bring you to hell. So you gotta bring your flesh to God. They gotta long, longer for God. In a dry and thirsty land, some places that we all dry. Some places, that's why it's good to fellowship. The Lord said, where there's two or three, at least have one more person you could call. One more person you could talk to. One more person, somebody you could depend on. Somebody you could cry out to. Somebody you could lean on. Somebody you could call and say, can you pray for me? You need that one. It said two or three, and God is in the midst. Ain't that something? It's dry. Sometimes we be in the dry season. Nobody to talk to. No fellowship. Nobody cares. Ain't that something? The Lord said, I'm here. He said, I'm your help. That's what the Lord is saying. If nobody show up, the Lord is saying, I'm your help. If nobody supports you, the Lord is saying, I'm your help. If nobody's there, the Lord is saying, I'm your help. When you're sick, God said, I'm your help. If you're dying, God said, I'm your help. When I rise you up, he's saying, I'm your help. Ain't that something? Lord is our helper. Jesus. In a dry and thirsty land, glory to God, where no water is. There ain't no water. You're not going to find no water in the world. Hope you're hearing me. This is a message. Good God, good God almighty. This is the first verse. If I got 11 to go, Lord, let me calm down. It said, my flesh lifted for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Some places don't got no water. And no matter what, no matter what you looking for in the world, you're not going to find no water. The only, the only, when you hunger and thirsting after something, the only one that could quench that thirst is God. Jesus. You need a quenching, God can quench that. Ain't no natural water could do it. Not no food could do it. Only the Lord is our strength and our nourishment. Only the Lord. Glory to God. He'll help you in that dry season. God will help you when it's all dried up and no water is left. He said to see that power and that glory. This is how you see God's power and his glory work when you're thirsty. Watch how you change. You're not the same person no more because the power and the glory has touched you. Ain't that something? So I have seen thee in the sanctuary. You'll see God in the sanctuary, spiritual place while you're meditating. Yes. Glory to God. The sanctuary could be your car, it could be your room, it could be the bathroom, wherever your mind drifts off into the presence of the Lord. That's the sanctuary because Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Hallelujah. You are a church, ladies and gentlemen. You are a church. Yes. Ain't God our helper? Mm -mm -mm. Now I see thee in the sanctuary because thy loving kindness, this is why you have seen them, is better than life. Woo, my God. Jesus. My lips shall praise thee. This is why your lips shall praise God. Because of God's loving kindness. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to wake you up today, but he did. Because of God's loving kindness. Ain't that something? Jesus. This is why I'm praising him. I'm praising him because he woke me up. Some people are praising God right now because they're sick. And a doctor said they should have been dead by now. But look at God. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
His power and his glory is touching you. And he said, not so. It's not going to happen. The Lord says not going to happen till I say so. Not when a doctor say so, but when I say so. Glory to God. Thus will I bless thee while I live. While I live, this is how your heart should be towards God. While I, while I live, I'm going to praise God on my lips. Even if I fall, I'm praising God. Even if I slip up, I'm praising God. Even if I did something terrible, I'm still going to praise God. Because nothing's going to separate me from the love of the Lord. Nothing. And I mean nothing. I'm not going to let nothing come involved. Not a demon. Not a witch. Not a warlock. Not high principalities. Not demons. Not the devil. No one should separate me from the love of God. And that's what Satan wants to do. He wants to put you in a place of despair. So you feel like you don't have no hope. That's his goal. Jesus. He wants you to have no hope. Thank you, Lord. And then once you feel hopeless, you backslide and you put God on a back burner. Jesus. Not knowing that he's your help. Even if you fall, he's your help. You. Even with that terrible sin you just did, God is still your help. Who are you going to turn to when times get rough? Glory to God. Who are you going to turn to? Who are you going to turn to when times get rough? Because my lips shall praise thee. It says, this will I bless thee while I live. And I will lift up my hands in thy name. Sometimes just lift up your hands. Sometimes just be in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I lift up my hand for my children. Thank you, God, for keeping them. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I be outside of the midst of people. I just lift up my hands. And I give God praise. I give him glory. I give him praise and I give him glory because I know who he is. And when you know who God is, you're going to give him praise. You're going to give him glory. You're going to give him honor when you know who God is. When you know that he brought you through hell and hot water, you're going to give God praise. When, he, when you were sick and out of it, you know you got to give God praise. You could have died, but you, should, but you didn't because God had his mercy and his grace and his power and his glory on you. Thank you, Lord. So I got praises in my lips. My lips shall praise thee and my hands shall go up. My soul shall be satisfied. Look at this, oh God. So it's not, oh Lord, it's not just my lips. My God, and it's not just my hands, but my soul Ooh, is satisfied. My soul is satisfied. Once a man or a woman's soul is satisfied, nothing can pluck them out the Father's hand. Nothing can pluck them out the Father's hand. Nothing can pluck them out the Father's hands. Mm, mm, mm. My hands is lifted up and my lips is praising God and nothing could pluck me out my father's hand because my soul shall be satisfied. Mm -mm -mm. Glory to God. As with marrow and fatness in my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. Now it's not just words coming. Man, the things that's coming out of our mouths as people of God is joyful. I'm so joyful because I should be in hell right now. My lips got praised because you don't understand. I should have been shot. I should have been killed in that situation. My lips got a joyful praise because I know what God has brought me from and through. So my lips got praised. Joyful lips. And my hands go up. And my lips shall praise thee. Mm -mm 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 -mm. When I remember thee upon my bed, even on the bedtime, Lord, I'm meditating on thee in the night watches. The night watches, God, I'm thinking on you. In my bed, I'm thinking about God. In my bed, I'm praising him. In my bed, I'm giving him glory. I'm worshiping him in my bed before I go to sleep. Sometimes God will wake you up so that you can throw your hands up. Sometimes God wake you up in the middle of the night so that you could praise him. God is so good. God is so good in the night watches. It said, because thou has been my help. See, God is your help. Ain't no man, no woman. Your wife can't do it for you. Your husband can't do it for you. Your children can't do it for you. Your help comes from the Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. Even in that secret place, that secret place where you're in the presence of the Lord, no devil could touch you. 
When you're in the presence of the Lord, no evil thoughts come in. When you're in the presence of the Lord, God is with you. He's your protector. His wings are covering you even under his wings. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even under his wings. The shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My God, God got his wings covering you. Woo. I want, I want you to hear, I want you to hear this. The Lord has his, the shadow of his wings. Matter of fact, you don't even, my God, look at the shadow of his wings. Glory to God, just being underneath the shadow of the Lord. Ooh. Glory to God, this power. You don't even got to see the wings, just a shadow. Get in God's shadow because he's your help. Get in God's shadow because he's your help. Get in God's shadow so he could protect you. Get in God's shadow so that he could save you. Get in God's shadow so that he could lift you up. Get in God's shadow so he could heal you. Get in God's shadow so he could do the things that he wants to do through your life according to his will and purpose. And it says, my soul follow hard after thee. Look at this. Your soul gonna follow hard after the Lord if you start feeling this power. After you know that he's the king of kings and the lord of lords. Once you start realizing that he's the God of all gods. He's the God of gods and the lord of lords and the king of king and the prince of peace. He's all that. Oh, glory to God. Once you figure that out, look at that. Look at what he said. He said, but he look what he says. He said, my soul follow hard after thee. I will follow you, Lord. That right hand uphold me because God's right hand is on you. One thing about God, he got his hands on you. Glory to God. And it says, but those that seek, he says, but those that seek my soul to destroy. Look, talk about your enemies now. There's going to always be people trying to seek to destroy your soul. I want you to hear me, right? Shall go into the lower parts of the earth. The Lord said, don't worry, they should go into the lower parts of the earth. Ooh, Jesus. Good God Almighty. Ooh, Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, you give praise on that. Ain't nothing wrong with praising God on that. Yes, Glory to God, because some of the enemies, you don't even know who they are. And God said, I'm going to get rid of them and put them under the earth. Glory to God. Woo, so I'm going to put them in the lower parts of the earth. God will get rid of your enemies. God will separate you from your enemies. And if your enemies try, especially when your enemies are trying to destroy you. That's what I'm talking about. Not just an enemy that backs off. But I'm talking about an enemy that tries to destroy you. Yeah. That's an enemy. And God said, what he said he going to do to them? Huh? What's going to happen to him? This is what he asks. This is what happened. It shall, and he believes it, shall go into the lower parts of the earth. Ain't that so? That's where they're going to go. Hallelujah. So don't worry about your enemies. It's the end, it's the end of the wicked. End of the wicked. The wicked, yeah, the end of evil people. Glory, yeah, glory to God. The end of wicked people, the end of evil. Yeah, God will get them. You don't got to worry about it. You don't got to lay a finger. As they said, vengeance is mine, thus say of the Lord. You don't got to worry about it because the Lord is your help. The Lord going to do it. You just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Glory to God. And what else he said? They shall fall by the sword. Look, God said they are fall by the sword. You, you live by the sword, you die by it. God will make sure they die by their own evil inventions. Glory to God. They said they shall fall by the sword and they shall be a portion for the foxes. And when your body lay down, the foxes will eat you. Foxes that represent sometimes in the Bible also devils. They be your, your soul will be, will be food for the devils. Glory to God. For they shall be a portion for the foxes. The devils will have say the devil have fun with the enemy. With the enemy once they die. He having fun with a lot of them now because they allow people to open up their doors, which, which, which the doors to your life, the doors to your heart, the doors to your heart, right? Your heart, the doors to your heart, you allow them in through temptation. So, right? Glory to God. They shall fall by the sword and they shall be a portion for foxes. Yeah. Fall of the wicked. Foxes. Wolves. Dragons. Snakes. Glory to God, representing devils and demons. Glory to God, right? Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It shall be a portion for them. That's going to be a portion because you, you know why You know why this is not natural? Because up above, he says, right? He says, he says, but those that seek me, in verse 9, Psalm 63 and 9 says, but those that seek my soul, that's how you catch it, right? 
to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. The lower parts of the earth. That's not even natural. No man can get to the lower parts of the earth. Only God can put you there. So that's spiritual. That's after the after you already destroyed you, now your soul going to the lower parts of the earth. Well, hello, Pastor. Well, somewhere in the earth. Could a human get to it? No, a human can't get to it. You got it. You got it. It's spiritual. Spiritually, there, your eyes just can't see it. Glory to God. What we living in now is darkness. You just can't see it. If you could see the things that surround you, thank God he's our help. You would die. Yes. Just from looking at it. If your eyes can really see what this all look like. All right. One day you'll, be, you'll see it. We're going to see it. You bet, and bet, mark my words. You better have God with you. Yes. Yeah, when you leave here, you better have God with you. Because if not, what's waiting for you is much, much worse. And they said they shall fall by the sword, and they shall be a portion for what? For the foxes. Listen, once you pass on, that's it. Your soul become portions for the devils. The devils play with you like you're a basketball. The devils will play with you like you like you a piece of paper. Seriously. Yeah, you, you're a piece of paper to devils. Yeah. You like an ant. Or really how they describe you, the worm don't die. You a worm. And when a human, and I look at that part, right? When I say, wow, when you die and you go to hell, you a worm. The worm don't die. But check this out. I go outside, or when I was a garbage man, I messed with garbage and I flip open the, opened up the, 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 um, the container top and about to pull the bag out. Notice there's a lot of maggots. Ain't that something? That just happened on a regular basis. But I'm looking at that as this. You're just a maggot. And look how much control I have over the maggots. The maggot can't save itself. The maggot can't even hide. Matter of fact, the maggot can't run. There's nowhere to run. I have complete control over the maggot. Jesus. So as soon as I take that can and throw it in the dumpster, no matter how you look at it, they're destroyed. Glory to God. And nothing those maggots can do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's just a portion of it, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a portion of it. So, the, so shall they go into the lower parts of the earth? Don't worry about your enemies. L listen, listen. Don't worry about your enemies. God going to handle them because guess what? God is your help. Yes. God is your help. Glory to God. God is your help. He said don't even offend some of his little ones, just his little ones, ones that just got saved. Don't even offend them. Glory to God. Things happen, especially if you don't repent. Things, things happen when you mess with the people of God. Things happen when you put your mouth against anybody that belongs to God. Things happen. Yeah? And sometimes it's not death, it's just a lesson. Thank God it's not death all the time. Because everybody don't deserve death. God only knows that, who, who, does, who, who that belongs to. It's not for me or for anybody else to say who deserves death. Because the person you say, they deserve death, right? That should be you too. Yeah, well, who are you to say they deserve death? You deserve death too as much as you sin and much things you have done in the sight of the Lord. All the stuff you've done, all the filthy things you have done and not even said sorry for. Yeah. But we pick and choose who deserve death. But that's not our call. God calls that. Glory to God. And matter of fact, death, death is only to your enemies. But God could change them too if he wanted to. Or if they wanted God, they was hunger. He that hunger and thirst at the righteous shall be filled. Amen. Right? Glory to God. And they shall fall by the sword and they shall be a portion for, for the foxes. Glory to God. Number 11, and we closing out because the Lord is our help. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that swear by him shall glory. But the mouth, them that speak lies shall be stopped. One thing about the enemy, because God is a help, God going to stop them. The weapon formed, but guess what? It's not going to prosper. Because God has stopped them. The reason you're alive today, because God has stopped them. The reason you're breathing today, because God has stopped them. The reason God is covering your children, because God has stopped them. The reason you're still breathing is because God has stopped them. If it was up to the enemy, you'd be dead a long time ago. But God has stopped them. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And God will continue 
to stop the mouth of Satan in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Happy Mother's Day on today. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. But thank God for the women, because they are the mothers. Glory to God. And we pray that the Lord bless you all, touch you all, cover your children with his precious blood so that death could pass the children. It's important to pray for your children because God is our help. I don't care how bad they're doing out there, how far they fell off. Continue to keep your children in prayer because if Satan can't get you, he goes after your children. He goes after your children because they're not saved or sanctified or living holy. But guess what? God says he has favor on our children because we are doing what's right. We are righteous. That's why it says the prayers of the righteous avail of much. It got to be a righteous prayer that could reach God and the angels that bring up the prayers as an incense of smoke before the throne of the Father. And the Father opened up the window of heaven and pour out those blessings and those prayers that the righteous has sent up. So we thank God. That he is our help. Keep your head up. Keep it moving. And make sure the blood of Jesus is on you at all times. Don't take that armor off. In Jesus name. Glory to God. I love you all. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.